and first day is physics department, I is the <coughs> which used to teach question of uh, There was Dr. Bureshi who became founding director of the National Institute of Oceanography. He used to teach oceanography at this department. And after that, uh, Dr. Masumali Tenguli, he was teaching here. Uh, he was taking some courses of oceanography here. And after that, I don't know what happened to this uh, course here. Uh, since I am applied to assist, and our one of the professors, Dr. Uh, Fazal. So it is also the study of physics, chemistry, biology, geology, and it is called marine physics, marine chemistry, marine biology, marine geology, marine meteorology. So what is the difference? There is no difference. Next slide, please. So physics or uh, physical oceanography basically is the study of physical properties like mixing and dynamics of the ocean and the primary interests are the interaction of ocean with atmosphere. We cannot exclude atmosphere from the ocean or ocean cannot stay without the help of atmosphere. So they are interrelated and their interrelation is the study of uh, physical oceanography. Basically, when we define physical oceanography, it is the study in which we about uh, we study about movement of water and quality of water. In movement of water, we study about tides, currents, waves, and in quality of water, we study about salinity, temperature, density, etc. Uh, biological oceanography is the study of marine organisms and how they relate to their physical and chemical environment. Primary interests are the primary productivity and the distribution of the organisms within the water column. Next. So, uh, next. Marine biology is the study of the same thing. Uh, next slide, please. Since time in the chemical oceanography is the study of physical and organic chemistry of the small term. The primary interests are the ocean uh, circulation and mixing based on chemical and isotopic traces, marine organic, marine organic and natural products chemistry, Geo uh, geomechanical interaction of sediments with seawater and uh, in just uh, water, sorry, next, next, next slide please. Uh, geology is the study of oceanic rock and sediments. The primary interest is the structure of the earth beneath the ocean and history and uh, character of processes that shape the earth beneath the sea. So this is uh, mostly studied by physical ocean, uh, sorry, by geological ocean. So, what is the benefit to study the ocean? Basically, oceans are a source of food. Hence, we should be interested in processes which influence the sea even more than farmers and farmers are interested in weather and climate. Ocean not only has weather such as temperature changes and current, but the oceanic weather fertilizes the sea. Next slide. So why ocean? Oceans are used by man. We would structure, we build a structure on the shore or offshore. We use the ocean for transport and uh, other facilities for other facilities like we are swimming, surfing and all these. So it is necessary to study the ocean. Next. So as I told you that basically physics 
is the physical environment of the ocean in which uh, atmospheric environment plays role and oceanic environment plays role. In atmospheric environment, air temperature, wind, evaporation and precipitation participate to change the atmosphere of ocean and oceanic environment changes due to the seawater temperature, seawater salinity, seawater currents and seasonal circulation tides waves in coastal zones. So hydrodynamical forces acting on the ocean are tidal forces, tidal currents, wind stretches, wave forces, wind driven currents, coastal configuration. Next. First of all, I would like to explain about the tides. It is, I think most of you have visited seaside and sometimes when they go to the sea or uh, coast, they see that uh, sea is too far, uh, too far away and if they pass four or five hours there, they are surprised that uh, sea has come very near to the coastline. So why is that? Sometimes they, they think that it is due to the increase of wave action, but it is not. Basically it is tidal force which is produced due to the gravitational attraction of sun and moon which are acting on the earth. And uh, you know that uh, basic formula of gravitational, uh, Newton's law of gravitation is applied uh, uh, due to which uh, uh, This is if we suppose that this is moon and this is earth and this is sun. This is attraction due to the force of moon which is very near to our earth and sun is too far from our earth. So that is why tide is attracted towards the moon and on the other side it is also there is also high tide. So High tide will be produced on two, two sides of the earth because on, on this side which is due to the attraction of the moon and on other side it is centrifugal due to centrifugal force. So two bulges are produced on the earth and due to the presence of sun there is another tide which is produced. So there are two types of tides which are mostly produced and that when they are on same line, for example, now this is the position when earth and moon, uh, sun and moon are on same line, we will uh, face or we will come to know that it is highest tide uh, and usually this is the period when there is new moon and uh, full moon and when they are uh, uh, at 90 degree angle from uh, uh, like this, then, then their forces are cancelled and tidal force is also uh, on minimum level. So uh, these are the period when moon is half. So in those periods the tides, tidal variation is minimum. So basically tides, tidal variation is uh, two times in a day and uh, it is everywhere but uh, it variation from place to place vary because of the coastal co configuration or uh, presence uh, next to place and also the tidal variation is based on uh, the seasonal variation because as we know that earth also revolves around the sun and due to its motion and uh, its uh, increasing or decreasing distance, its tidal, uh, its gravitational attraction increases or decreases. Uh, so that is why uh, we have seasonal uh, variation in the tidal force. So 
this is where the physics is applied. Next slide, please. Next. So, as a result of uh, where tidal variation, there is a force which produces, this force produces water movement. And that water movement, when you are at the coast, you will see that tide is moving up and down. And when you are away, you will see that water currents are moving uh, towards the coast or away from the coast. Next slide, please. And this is the same. When tide is moving towards the coast, it is called flood, flood current or uh, the currents or uh, when movement is towards the coast, it is flood current and when it is moving away from the coast, it is called ebb current. Next slide. Uh, yes, so, mostly uh, this is uh, one of the models which we prepared for the Karachi. You are well aware that Karachi Harbour is, uh, uh, this is Karachi Harbour and uh, this is Cape Mons. And here you can see that how tide is moving and you know its movement of tide, currents are moving. So, by this we can predict that at which place what will be the strength of tidal current or what will be the tidal force and I am very uh, proud here that Dr. Lipat Kureshi is sitting here. He was, uh, when he was in Green uh, uh, he encouraged me to do this modeling, use modeling techniques so that uh, uh, it can be applied in oceanography and uh, I am very grateful for him that uh, he involved me in this field. So this is uh, basically all physics laws are applied and then this type of model is produced. Next slide. Next slide. Now waves are mostly produced due to, due to the wind generation or when waves are continuously, yeah, next slide, when waves are continuously Moving over the sea surface, waves are produced and different kinds of waves. When they are in deep water, there are there is small wind and wave and when they are pushed to the coast, they become very high. Next slide. Uh, I think you are very familiar with the wave uh, characteristics, so there is no need to explain you this next slide. Now basically due to the wave action on the coast. Downstream currents are produced. I think when you have visited the coast, you might have observed that waves, when they are approaching to the coast, they, they come with certain angle. And that angle is the main reason which produces the longshore current. When they approach to the sea with angle, and then due to law of reflection, they take another direction. <coughs> so when continuously they strike the coast, they try to move. Now you can see that in this uh, uh, they waves are moving on this side and when they will come back, they will move on this side and then keep on moving this. So current will move from this side to this side. So this type of current is called long show current. Next slide. So due to uh, here it is uh, explained in simple reasons, uh, in simple way that how longshore currents are produced when wave is approaching which is uh, shown with proof 